Hello, everybody. Mark McDonald, First United Methodist Church of Batesville. Once again, with Experiencing God, we're in week five, day five. So we're on Friday of week five, moving our way through this study. It's a 12-week study, and I'm glad that you're making this journey with us. Today, as I read through the lesson, I remembered something. I shared this a couple of months ago in worship, but I want to share it again today. A poem called Footprints in the Sand. Here it is. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each scene, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times there was only one. This bothered me because I noticed that during the low periods of my life, when I was suffering from anguish, sorrow, or defeat, I could only see one set of footprints. So I said to the Lord, You promised me, Lord, that if I followed you, you would talk with me, walk with me always. But I've noticed that during the most trying times of my life, there's only been one set of footprints in the sand. Why, when I needed you most, have you not been there for me? The Lord replied, The times when you've only seen one set of footprints, my child, is when I carried you. Well, I thought of that because in today's lesson, it talks about having a spiritual journal. Uh, and you may think of this in lots of different ways. I, I have kept in times, and, and I'm starting it again right now, a prayer journal. I don't know if you're familiar with the prayer journal, but it is a spiritual journal of sort. It is where you take just a simple simple book or something that you can work with. I use a little, a small book that I keep some journals in. Uh, I do some journaling online, but this, this is something that I think is more tactical. So I would encourage you to get you something to write down. It can be a little notebook. It can be just a piece of paper. But each day as you pray, write down what your prayers are. And then if you feel an answer or response or a nudge of some kind, it does not have to be complicated. You don't have to write a page a day. It can be just words or a sentence or two. But as you do that, what it does for you is it, is it makes you write something down. And, and you may know that if you write down goals, you're usually about 40% more likely to accomplish those goals. So writing something down does something inside of our mind that makes it stick a little bit more, and it reminds you. So then throughout the day, after you've written in your prayer journal, throughout the day, you keep that in your mind, and that becomes more of your prayer. It may adjust along the way, and then you might go back and make the adjustments in your prayer journal. But here's where it really comes in powerfully. It, it's something to help you write it down and make it more tangible in your life. But more than that, when you go back and look at it, it is absolutely amazing to see the way that God responds to your prayers when you look at that journal. When, when we take some step back and look back across the path, it's like the poem Footsteps. We look back and we see something was different during that. Uh, the poem Footsteps reminds us that when we look back, we realize that there were good times and bad times, and we can see that in our prayer journals, but then we get some kind of an understanding of how God is working through that. When maybe we turned away from God or when we turned back to God, how God responded to that. So as we try to find out how God speaks, where yesterday was about learning how God speaks through Scripture, today is about how God speaks through prayer. So as you work through this devotional today in this workbook, I would encourage you to consider, you can even make notes in your workbook about your prayers every day. And then tomorrow, Saturday, and we've got the weekend for us, so look back over your summaries, look back through your notes from the workbook so far, you'll already start to see some of those changes. Whether you keep a prayer journal or a spiritual journal of some kind or not, really doesn't matter as much as you have a chance to look back and see how God has been working in your life and start to understand how God is speaking to you even today. Be a blessing today.